Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker. And I should say at the outset, I'm afraid it might be my voice that gives out um, in the proceedings today, but I hope everybody will uh, bear with me. What I'd like to start by saying, Mr. Speaker, is that electoral fraud is an unacceptable crime that a, strikes at a core principle of our democracy, which is that everybody's vote matters. In our current system, there is undeniably potential for electoral fraud, and the perception of that undermines public confidence in our democracy. We only need to walk up to the polling station and say our name and address, which is an identity check from the 19th century, based on the assumption that everybody in the community knows each other and can dispute somebody's identity. Dare I say, if we really want to go back to 19th century politics, neither I nor the Honourable Lady would even be here. The voter ID pilots, which are supported by the Independent Electoral Commission, is a reasonable way to ensure that voter ID works for everybody ahead of a national rollout. Showing ID is something that people of all backgrounds already do every day when we take out a library book, claim benefits, or pick up a parcel from the post office. Proving who you are before you make a decision of huge importance at the ballot box should be no different. I can reassure the House that both last year's pilots and the decades of experience of Northern Ireland show that voter ID does not have an adverse effect on election turnout or participation. And furthermore, the Government has consulted a range of civil society groups to ensure that voter ID will work for everybody. Crucially, local authorities will provide alternative methods of ID free of charge to electors who do not have a specified form of ID, which ensures that everybody who is registered to vote has the opportunity to vote. At next month's local elections, in ten diverse areas across the country, voters will be asked to show ID before they place their vote, and those votes, let's remember, will have a real effect on communities, so these elections are important. People should be uh, confident in our democracy, and if so, they're more likely to participate in it. My message today to the voters in those pilot areas is that these pilots are about protecting your vote. We want you to go out and use it and take part in these elections. And my ask to honourable members here today is also to ask their constituents to do so. Voter ID is part of how this government is strengthening the integrity of our electoral system to give the public confidence that our elections are secure and fit for the 21st century.